Okay, why am I seeing Daniel Ricardo everywhere I look on YouTube? Why? It's conditioning, isn't it? What's happening right now is these YouTubers with quite a lot of subscribers and, you know, the ones that are just following this stupid sport, this game, they're all following the agenda. And the agenda is get everybody prepared for Daniel Ricardo to return to Red Bull. That's all that's happening right now. I, th I feel like going on a rampage and just, I'm just picking out every single one of these YouTubers that are doing it. Because it's a joke, man. Why are you jumping on the bandwagon talking about somebody that was so whack the team just cut their contract and nobody could defend him anymore. There was literally no defending Daniel Ricciardo. The team gave him chance after chance after chance, the team made excuses for him. His fans are making excuses for him. Oh, it's the car, it's this, it's, it's not in the right headspace. Oh, sometimes drivers go through these things where they're not doing the best, but he is gonna bounce back, never bounce back, never showed any signs of bouncing back. He got a, a few podiums and maybe a race win that was a fluke, you know? And he was loving that win. When he got that win from McLaren, he was loving it like he fully deserved it. And I'm, from my knowledge, I'm sure he didn't. I'm sure some things happened in that race which aided him to win that race. It wasn't just one on pure talent. Things happened and he won the race. Danny Ricardo has been whack for ages. And now people are being conditioned by these YouTubers that are following the agenda that's going to bring um, Danny Ricardo back to Red Bull. I'm going to boot out Sergio Perez, which we all knew was going to happen anyway. Danny Ricardo is just going to be the replacement for Sergio Perez. And Danny Ricardo ain't going to stay at Red Bull for very long either. Just going to keep bringing them in. They're going to help. They're going to get frustrated with the way Red Bull are just all over Max Verstappen. Even though they know it. And then they're going to be out. And they're going to bring somebody else in. Danny Ricardo is, is, is daft, man. He's a daft guy. He's as daft as he comes across. My opinion. Could all be a big bluff. It all could be a big bluff. But in my opinion right now, Daniel Ricciardo is as daft as he looks. As daft as he seems. Because if he can't see this, I, I don't know what's, I don't know what he's looking at. But that aside, that's irrelevant. Let, that's, Daniel Ricciardo is going to be a Formula 1 driver, driving for a top team, making millions of pounds. So, fair play to him. But that aside, the YouTubers is what I've got a problem with. The public. These people that are following the agenda, conditioning their watchers for Max Verstappen to have a teammate in Daniel Ricciardo after they boot out Sergio Perez. That's all that's happening. All of a sudden, Daniel Ricciardo, Daniel Ricciardo, Daniel Ricciardo, everywhere you look, Daniel Ricciardo goes to Alfa Torre. And even that, even that, how much are they disrespecting Yuki Tsunoda? People are thinking that Daniel Ricciardo goes to Alfa Torre and he should be beating Yuki Tsunoda. I don't, I don't want him to. I, I, I want Yuki Tsunoda to blast Daniel Ricciardo, man. I, I really hope Daniel Ricciardo don't, don't beat him. I hope he wipes the floor with him. Because that's because that's another form of that racism coming in. Because Yuki Tsunoda's Japanese. You know the Europeans and the Americans and that don't like the Japanese. You know, from way back when. They don't like it. So they're expecting Daniel Ricciardo. And they're saying, Daniel Ricciardo. This goes back to the YouTubers again. They're talking about Daniel Ricciardo going to Alfa Torre and proving himself and if he does then he can get a seat at Red Bull. They're expecting Daniel Ricciardo to jump in that car and instantly be better than Yuki Tsunoda. So what is that showing about the respect they've got to, for Yuki Tsunoda? I think Yuki's alright man. He seems like a decent driver and I'm, I, I, am, I am team Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I do not want Yuki Tsunoda to get beat by Daniel Ricciardo. And if it does, I'm going to be watching that team. Have they got equal opportunities? Have they got equal equal cars, machinery? Is the team on Daniel Ricciardo's side? It won't surprise me, because, like I said, Yuki Tsunoda is Japanese. That's why they do these things to people. I know they're going to do it to Daniel Ricciardo too, but. Daniel Ricciardo is more European than Yuki Tsunoda and it is, it's that simple, it's that simple and I don't know why these YouTubers are all saying the same thing. 
Why are you expecting Daniel Ricciardo to jump in that car and be better than Yuki Tsunoda? Why? I've, I've, I so hope it doesn't happen. I really, really hope it doesn't happen because I can see how they're, they're going about it, man, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, don't like the way they're going about it. So I hope Yuki Tsunoda is better than Daniel Ricciardo. And if he is, I guarantee that they don't give Yuki Tsunoda the seat at Red Bull. If Daniel Ricciardo is better than Yuki Tsunoda, then Daniel Ricciardo will get a seat at Red Bull. But if Yuki Tsunoda is better than Daniel Ricciardo, I bet you he don't get that Red Bull seat. Which would make perfect sense. It would make perfect sense because Yuki Tsunoda is Japanese. Honda is Japanese. Honda is tied in with Red Bull. So that would make absolute perfect sense. That would be, that would be a money maker. I mean, Jap Japan's small. It's not like it's China or something. But still, you know how fanatical they are? When you see Japanese fans, they look like the old Michael Jackson fans that you used to see in the stadiums, crying and screaming. That's what the Japanese people seem to be like still. When they support something, they support it wholeheartedly. Is that even a word? Wholeheartedly? It is today. Anyway, let me bring this to a close. I'm just speaking right now, because I'm sick and tired of seeing Daniel Ricciardo everywhere I look. And Daniel Ricciardo hasn't done anything to be impressive for, for a, the longest amount of time. I can't remember the last time I was impressed by Daniel Ricciardo. I don't know why he's still lingering around. But these YouTubers, these YouTubers are following this agenda to condition people to get them ready for Daniel Ricciardo's return to Red Bull. They all go over to Sky Sports F1. They all go over to the F1 channel. They all go over to Sky Sports and they all see what's going on and they go, okay, let's talk about this now. Let's promote this now and let's push it. They're all just feeding and expand. They're just an extension of Sky Sports F1 or Formula One. That's all they are. They're just an extension of it and they follow the agenda. They don't even need to be told. They just do it automatically. They are sheep. And then sheep are following sheep. Where's the shepherds at? There ain't many. There ain't many shepherds. These YouTubers are, are sheep following the Formula One and then their followers are following them. So we've got sheep following sheep, man. That's what's going on in this sport right now. And I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think is going on with this Daniel Ricciardo situation? Why do you think he's still lingering around? Why do you think people are still holding him higher than he should be? Why is he not where he should be? Why is he where he is? Because in all honesty, I think it's because he's a Vanity Fair boy. It's part of the Vanity Fair lot, which means it is already in. It's never going to be out because it's in the club. Do you know what I mean? All right, I'm out of here.